Hello Sagittarius, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Please be sure to like the video if it resonates with you and click on the red subscribe button on the bottom left hand side of the video if you just tap on that button once. Any future videos that I post will automatically come up on your YouTube feed. If this reading does not resonate with you, uh, please keep in mind it is a general reading, it is not meant for everybody and to also check your moon rising and Venus sign, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So what do we have for Sagittarius? <laughs> the fool came out anyway. You seen that? Ju it jumped out before and it ended up coming out anyway. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. Okay, Sagittarius, so we have fire signs here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. We've got air signs, which is um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. And we have Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces energy here. The underlining uh, energy of the reading is strength. Okay, Sagittarius strength. So we're maturing. We're feeling ourselves mature and handle situations in a different way than what we're used to. Okay, we're learning how to tame a beast in a different way. Now here we have the Eight of Wands, which is again Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. This can mean communication. It could mean travel, um, but it's clarified by the King of Cups, so that tells me that there's going to be a lot of communication of love. Either you're going to move towards somebody with this communication of love, or somebody is going to move towards you. I do see here the Ten of Swords, though. So the Ten of Swords means that something is going to break down, Sagittarius. Something is going to end. There is going to be some form of separation, whether it's physical separation or emotional separation. But that leaves room for something new to begin. And here we have the Four of Wands clarifying that, which means it's going to open up the gateway for that soulmate energy to come in. Okay, um, the Four of Wands is a beautiful card. It's victory after success. It's it's a honeymoon card. It's a soulmate card. You see the eleven eleven there, the one the the two elevens. Um, so whatever breaks Sagittarius, it's going to open the doorway for your true soulmate to come in. It could be the same person. It could be a different person, but that's what it's going to do. Now here is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. And this is someone who is financially stable. It's usually an older man. It's somebody dependable, reliable, um, you know, someone that you want to have in your corner because they're always going to take care of the problem. Now this is clarified by the Page of Swords. Okay, so the Page of Swords is a message coming in and swords generally indicates either conflict or, um, uh, you know, something coming to light, secrets coming out, um, or it could even just mean taking energy. Maybe, maybe this is your soulmate that's going to start taking action towards you, or you're going to take action towards your soulmate. Okay. You know, or this could be your current person that, you know, you had this fallout with, uh, this could be your person, Sagittarius, or it could be you and someone takes action against you. Now, here we have the Nine of Wands, okay? So the Nine of Wands signifies um, basically don't don't give up. You know, you've come so far. You know, you, you built this whole wall here. Keep defending it. You know, keep defending it. Whatever you've built, whatever you you have going on, don't give up because you're so close, okay? Now that is clarified by the Fool, though. So what that does mean is, you know, it does mean new beginnings and it does mean taking the risk. Okay, so that is a that's a tough one because it is telling you not to give up. Or there you go. I mean, maybe it's telling you not to give up and take the risk and try again because here we have something breaking and starting anew, and then we have a person here that's going to start taking action. So this could be maybe you and your person, everything breaks down and you take action and, and you may be defensive or wanting to give up or wanting to just walk away. Um, but this is telling you to take the risk, you know, take the risk and, and take action towards this person because, you know, you're going to have a soulmate coming in. So I don't know if it's the person that you're currently with right now or, you know, someone new coming in, but yeah, this person is your soulmate. It's being clarified here. 
the clarification card for this person here, this this Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy, you have the Two of Cups. This is soulmate energy here. You've got soulmate twice. This is your person, Sagittarius. Okay, so the Knight of Cups here, okay, um, is clarified by the. Uh, it's clarified by the Nine of Swords, which means that you may want to move towards somebody with love, but there's a lot of fear, anxiety, a lot of bad feelings here, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of sleepless nights, because, you know, even if you're moving towards someone with love, this is, seems to be the outcome, like everything is just falling down, all right? The um, Eight of Wands here is being clarified by the Hanged Man, which means that there's going to be a lot of delay in communication. You're going to try commuting with somebody, but there's going to be a lot of delay or even miscommunication. The Ten of Swords here is clarified by the Two of Swords. So this basically, again, miscommunication. Someone's going to close themselves off. And this could also mean, you know, lies and secrets coming into, in, you know, out. It could also mean that someone's deceiving you. It could mean that someone's lying to you. Um, but, you know, you're going to find out something or, or something's going to happen where you or your person are going to really cut themselves off. And it's going to lead to ruin. It's going to lead to separation in the relationship. Um, we have, you know, the King of Pentacles being clarified by the two of cups here so as i said you have a soulmate coming in sagittarius after this fall here there's a soulmate coming in i don't know if it's going to be your current person that you fell out with or if it's someone new okay so now we have the nine of wands here being clarified by the hierophant okay so the hierophant does represent marriage so i want to say here don't give up on your marriage don't give up on your marriage because they are your soulmate or you know don't give up on love don't give up on love because marriage is coming into the picture if you have someone new coming in don't give up on love because marriage is coming into the picture but i feel like the energy of your reading is the strength card it's you having to tame this beast and i feel like this is the beast I feel like this this communication, this whatever these lies were, this waiting to and delay in communication, this is the beast that you're gonna have to tame in order to get to this soulmate, the, this beautiful soulmate energy here, Sagittarius, okay? So you're gonna have to figure this out and figure out how to act the right way because strength is all about finding the strength inside of you to act the correct way to make this work so the hierophant is is marriage so maybe you're having a problem with your marriage or somebody that you've been committed to for a long time the nine of wands does mean you know don't give up all right so here we have the four of of wands which was your soulmate card and it's clarified by the four of swords so again this is telling you sagittarius you have to put your emotions to the side and learn how to handle the situation with strength with, with you know the the queen of swords is using your mind using your mind to make this happen being strategic think of a soldier needing to win a, you know a battle okay um, they, they don't use their emotions. They, they use their mind. The Page of Swords here is being clarified by the Sun. Now, the Sun is growth, okay? So, let's keep in mind, we had the Page of Swords that was going to be going towards this King of Pentacles. So, that means that either you're going to take action towards this person or they're going to take action towards you with growth and recovery on their mind, with something new happening, with, with you know, um, growth in your relationship. The fool, the fool is being clarified by the six of pentacles. Now the six of pentacles can be um, children, okay? It can be children or it can be uh, someone from your past. So this can be telling you um, that maybe you can be getting back together with someone from your past after your relationship breaks. Um, because we said that something was going to break and something new is going to come out of it. So if it's a new person, it may be someone from your past. Or if it's your current relationship, um, it may be children that it, you may take the risk and try to save your marriage because children are involved. So those are the two options there, Sagittarius. So something may break with your current person and a new soulmate might come in that is from your past, someone that's been from your past, or, you know, 
whatever whatever is bad because this card here is whatever needed to be wiped away whatever needed to die in your relationship dies and something new comes and, and it's a blessing so in your current situation it could be that whatever needed to be washed away gets washed away and the soulmate energy and the lovers come in and it, it your your relationship grows from it okay and your marriage heals from it or your engagement this person that you're deeply committed to it heals from it and um, it could possibly be because of children that you take that risk and, and try again, okay? So the strength card here is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles is beautiful new beginnings. It's money rushing in. It's blessings. It's, it's just complete, like, just blessings raining down on you. And this is also clarified by death, which is change and transformation and new beginnings, all right? So that's really beautiful, Sagittarius. Let's see if... Um, Let's see if we can get some messages from our romance angels to clarify a little bit. So we have Sagittarius, the week of June 2nd to June 9th. What messages do we have for Sagittarius? June 2nd to June 9th, 2019. Sagittarius, June 2nd. So we have here, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek, okay? So again, Sagittarius, I feel that either your current person, something is going to fall and your current person could be, you know, it can reconcile with your current person. Or as I said, your this soulmate energy that's coming in can be somebody from the past. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept the support from others. So let's keep in mind, Sagittarius, that when this happens, you're going to need your friends and family to back you up and help you. Okay? So let's see what else we have here. Reconciliation. Reconciliation. Okay? So you and your current partner may reconciliate. All right? Or you and that ex from your past can reconciliate. But it does say someone from your past is returning into your life. Someone from your past is returning into your life. And the underlining energy of the deck here is the honeymoon card. The honeymoon card. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, which means that... Um, and, you know, it's funny, too, because this card here is also the honeymoon card. Okay? Um, so, as I said, Sagittarius, something is going to break. A new cycle is going to begin. There's going to be change, transformation. It could be with someone new. It could be with who you're with already. Okay. If it's someone, if it's a marriage that you're in already with children, that's my. That might be why you take the risk to start over again. Um, or it could be someone completely new from your past. Well, not new, but I'm just saying it could be a reconciliation with someone from your past. All right, Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed. Please hit the like button if you did, and be sure to click on the uh, subscribe button. Have a great day.